in a diversified county like Valley County with a lot of crops and livestock. The county fair is a chance to celebrate that agricultural heritage. Summer is coming to a close, but not before the county fair. I always look forward to that every year, getting to spend time with your friends you maybe don't get to see all the time. Getting to see everyone else's projects and see how far they've come from. You know, we see all the other calves in the winter time and see how far they've come by the end of summer. And in Michaela Ray's case, her steer came a long way, nearly doubling its weight from 850 to 1500 pounds, gaining more than three and a half pounds a day. Did you call that a pretty successful county fair then? Yeah, I did. I would. There's no question agriculture powers Valley County. Government statistics estimate the impact is more than $200 million a year, and that split nearly 50-50 between crops and livestock. And many of these kids help their families raise both. And showing at the county fair is part of that heritage. My dad showed, um, so I'm kind of the next generation of that. I've been showing for about seven, eight years now, so I've been around it for a while. Uh, this is Doug. Cassidy Giddison and her steer were among the best, and she spent months preparing. I usually lead him around for a couple miles every day, and then I wash him and blow him, put him back in the barn for most of the day with the fans, and then do it all over again in the evening. Cora Svoboda was another finalist. All these animals have taught me how to manage my time, how to be a leader, taught me how to like care for things. Vet schools the plan for McKenna Jacobs learning work ethic on the farm. I've been here since Tuesday night and we usually get up at five in the morning every morning and stay out till midnight. Another generation waits in the wings as toy tractors work the dirt, watching the big kids achieve county fair success. And finally, a look at Merritt County, where kids' legs and frog legs bring smiles. Pedaling with all their might, you can see how far they can make the tractor go. On Kids' Day at the Merritt County Fair, the tractor pull is one of many family-friendly events. Another crowd pleaser, the frog races, seeing how far they'll jump. And you start your, raw, your frog off at the starting line, and then it gets three hops, and then we catch it, and we measure it, and we write it down, and the winner, we get some, we get some prizes. The Merritt County Fair wrapped up this past Wednesday. They also have a $2 million 4-inch building under construction, which will include a large indoor livestock arena. And our county fair cruising is coming to an end, but we've got one big fair still to come, the state fair. And of course, make sure to catch MTV out there for all 11 days. And we'll see you back here next week on Grow.